Good morning. Morning. This is our tour of the Grand Yasiki Marmara's Palace Ishmaela Hotel. Follow us for a walkthrough to see all of the sites, all of the facilities and the grounds of this amazing hotel. Everything isn't out yet in terms of food and stuff because it's so early in the morning but you know we'll show you where everything is and then you can go from there. Also it'll give you a little idea of spacing and um, locations of things including which floor things are on because that's the biggest thing that we found even with our maps it can be overwhelming because it is so huge. This hotel boasts over 469 rooms which range from a standard double room to a twin room to a family room to the bungalows. Also there is a private villa on site to hire for those of you fancying a little bit more of a lavish relaxing holiday um, but again we are staying in a standard uh, double stroke family room um, which gives us a double bed and a single bed um, but there are other options and combinations available. We will show you our room obviously we can't go into the others. So follow us on our journey of the Grand Yaksiki Marmara's Palace. So this is the driveway area that you will come through from your transfer, be that a private transfer, which is roughly priced at around £80 at the moment, um, or on your coach with your company holiday, which is included. The transfer can be a little bit of a long one, however it's most definitely worth it when you walk in this amazing plaza. Not only are you met, by a fantastic staff team. You will be escorted, if needed, by one of the golf buggies on site to take you on a little journey around the Grand Yasiki. So this section here, this is your entrance lobby. This is what you walk into, and wow, does it feel luxurious. Yes, it certainly does. With this marvelous chandelier, and then you're met here with a greeting area. And then this is your lobby area where you'll be met by your staff team who will check you in. Not only check you in, but give you your wristbands that allows you all access to the all-inclusive plus facility that is here. Um, this is where you can get your key cards changed. You can um, ask for any inquiries and also meet your rep should you be with a package holiday. But in terms of other situations, there's guest relations here. They can give you an idea of the a la carte restaurants that are on site. There's presently four, and a la carte uh, are required to book in. You can make your reservations to go into the a la carte restaurant between 10 and 2 every day. And then this is the desk area where you can obviously ask for things like trips. You all, everybody's given one of these, which is a site map, which um, we will take with us. We'll take this with us, so just so we can give reference. And then each day, there is a list of daily activities. So between 10 and 12.30, you've got your general opening in the radio desk for music requests. And at 10 o'clock, for those who require it, kids' clubs opened. Um, you've got yoga at 10, darts, 12. We've got boccia, water gym. Half past five, again, the radio desk is open and the kids' club opens again at 5.30 with water polo at 3, darts again at 4, volleyball at 4.15, pilates and stretching, so we might need that. And then we've got the mini disco and the show time. Each night there is an individual um, event that is put on for the whole of the hotel and it includes some of the fantastic acts. For example, tonight's act is Columbia Rumba, which again is a fantastic show. You're welcome to this whole lobby area, which takes you to a variety of levels. So you've got indoor seating, quite lavish indoor seating, nice high wing-backed um, seating area. Again, quite regal, quite warm and friendly. Makes you want to just grab a seat and cool down. And all of this is accessible to anybody who's staying in the hotel, regardless of um, what your package is. And again, you look back out on to this area here. <clears throat> if you're flying with the likes of Tui, here's, here's your Tui notice board. Gives you all of the details that you want to know, who your rep is, when they're going to be in to see you. And again, Jet 2 is there as well. So you've definitely got all of your um, details to hand. There is a staircase that takes you up to some of the other rooms of the hotel and each of the floors along with lifts so accessibility is there if you needed the additional walking aid 
you've got little boy staff that take your baggage for you as well and you're met by this very lavish um, welcome lobby bar now I will tell you that this bar is 24 hours so it is open all the way through you can access um, hot drinks, cold drinks, coffee, tea, water the staff are more than friendly they've got an amazing range of alcohol and beverages that you can sample and again with the all inclusive plus some of your branded drinks are included water readily available for when you like one I'm going to grab one myself because it's a little bit early and I haven't had a drink yet you're in a nice seating area nice like sitting down places to chill and relax I'm going to walk you through what would the lobby area is in terms of where you go down to your lecture levels. You can see there's lots of nostalgia, lots of photographs and images of not only the culture, but this is your lower lobby area. And again, all indoor seating, air conditioned, nice and cool mm -hmm. to keep you cool on those days when things feel a little bit uh, warm outside. So we're going down a level now. So um, this level is classed as uh, minus one. Um, this is the level where you will find access to a lot of the hotel based rooms. So here at the Ganjatsiki, you've got hotel rooms based in the main complex and then additional bungalow style suites further around. And this is what you walk out to on your morning. You can see a few of the areas, it's a beautifully wooded area with plenty of outdoor seating to come and enjoy the sunrise, should you so wish. So this area is where we're going to take you to next, this is the restaurant area again, shoved Covered, shaded, nice for you to get out to. We're going to take you upstairs now just to show you a few of the. I might have to talk louder. Oh, okay. So, this. Sorry. So, this is um, one of the lists that you'll see, giving you directions and brief overview of where you need to go. So, the rooms over here. Um, go right up to 701, 932. Um, again, it gives you directions on where you need to be much level in terms of your food, your shops, your spa, your fitness. I did mention there's a spa and a gym here for those of you who feel like you want to still do that. And this is the corridor through to some of the standard rooms, which we'll take you along now. Again, these rooms along this corridor, so rooms 150 onwards on this floor, actually are located above the main restaurant and um, so should you want a quieter room it may be that you request um, not this block itself because there is entertainment on until around 12 p.m on an evening and it, although we're not in these rooms i do feel like you would probably um feel the impact of some of that noise level although it's, it's not unpleasant it's just if you've got young ones and do want to be in your room a little bit earlier this probably wouldn't be the ideal location Regardless of your location in terms of rooms, you've always got stunning views. Um, it is quite a wooded um, hotel complex, so there's lots of shade, um, lots of um, opportunity for that cool area, but also some stunning views and photo opportunities. Again, outside, everywhere's labelled, giving you clear directions on where you need to be. Grounds are really, really well kept. Um, there's always ground staff cleaning, tidying up, sweeping. But again, in terms of maintenance, never seen any issues. We really enjoy it. And now we're going down onto the platform which would host your breakfast. So this is your main restaurant. This is where you will get um, your breakfast, which is run from 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. Um, it's also where there's a late, what they call a late breakfast. So that is 10 till 10.30, where some of the 
sites of the breakfast uh, menu are removed and it goes down to minimal. Things are cooked in front of you here as well, which is really, really nice. So it's almost like a little bit of a um, little bit of experience. So here we have some selection. We've got a toaster machine. We've got um, fried potatoes, sorted potatoes. We've got fried vegetables. We've got um, sauteed mushrooms and aubergine. That's just today's example. Pommes frites. Should you fancy some fries on the morning for breakfast? Again. Fried peppers. Oh, and oatmeal. Love a bit of oatmeal. Keeps you both for the whole day. And then we have a selection of toppings to go on top of your pancakes. I know our little ones and my doors. Donuts. Beautiful. Fried toast. Even better. Eggy bread. Eggy bread. Sausage. Just some bearing in mind the sausages, they are in a tomato based coating. Mm -hmm. Might not be to everybody's flavour. Oh, I like hot dogs and hot sausages. Dogs. We've got fries, we've got beef, and we've got oh, boiled, eggs. boiled eggs. If you fancy a chutney egg on the one, this lovely gentleman here Morning. makes you, he makes you, um, he makes you what? Fanta. Not yet, I'll be back in a moment though. Fantastic. Freshly made omelettes with whatever fillings you want. Um, again, that just is, is as standard. You've got some extra potatoes there. Got baked beans for those bean lovers in the room. Um, what's this one? Scrambled, scrambled eggs with milk. milk, so it's a really loose scrambled egg. And then a menamin, not sure what that one is, but it looks tasty. Again, it's self service, so you just grab yourself a plate and then walk along the um, platter. We usually start at what is known as the walk show. So on an evening, this is where your main meal choice is, and then again, it is self service. But you can see the staff cooking and preparing it all fresh. And then on this side of the room, you've got a vast range of breads and pastries. And um, again, a lot of traditional Turkish breads. You've got cake, should you fancy cake. You've got croissants. And then we've got, a, there's just so much. We've got bagels. So there's so much for you to choose from. There's never any reason to feel hungry. And this is without going to the side where you've got your cereals. Again, really open space, nice light, airy looks out onto the veranda you can choose to eat outside should you wish it's not everybody's cup of tea some people prefer to be inside lots of information boards around the hotel so telling you around meal times and um, if you've got any allergies just to make sure that you make them aware on arrival and they will cater for that so gluten lactose etc nut and then this wonderful area here blows me away every time i come in this is your cold breakfast selection again grabbing a plate and we've got a selection of cheeses cold meats um, cold meats cheeses peppers so walnuts mozzarella feta olives wow it is absolutely phenomenal we've got a tea station where you can make your own teas and drinks again traditional Turkish teas available and then on this side we've got a range of fresh melon with donuts and again a range of nice chilled fresh fruits over here we've got everything from your prunes to your cherries to your yogurt to your strange yogurt to your syrups to your honeys to your jams alongside things like your dry biscuits um, nuts and cereals and not forgetting the most beautiful Turkish delight so this Turkish delight again is available all morning and again, it's all local produce, dates and prunes. And then we step across and you have a range of fresh fruit salads, topped yogurts, topped with fruit, cherries, Nutella, granola. Again, all available for self-service. And it is regularly topped up and maintained, along with another fresh juice and fruit bar. Again, to help yourself. Cereal, there's usually two or three ranges of cereal. Then again with your milk, and then back to your small pastries again. Yeah. Right, so now we're going into again the indoor seating area. It's a nice quiet area, especially on a breakfast time. You don't like hustle and bustle. Again, the tables are laid out usually for three or four people, but you can ask for um, additional tables to be joined together should your family or party be a little bit larger. 
In our case, it's um, as large as seven. So what we found is that we sat along the back seating area so we could all be together, but still have that quiet time away from the sun bus of the main room. Um, on a morning, the staff will ask you if you'd like tea or coffee, and they usually will bring that to the table for you. However, there is a self-service available. And then up onto this slightly higher area, you will find Jen's toilet. There's toilets and WCs on every section. And this room here, I don't think we'll be able to get in at the moment because it's not open, but if the Pirates Mini Buffet is the area where the children's kids buffet is available. So that's available from 6.30 till 8 every day where there's a selection of child-friendly meals um, that may be small to the palate of your younger ones that are joining you on your holiday. We're going to go out here back out into the main area. And as you can see, the views are stunning. You can see the main jetty, which will take you down and show you. And again, all the rooms in the seating area. In terms of timings around meals, I've mentioned breakfast. Lunch is served between 12 and 2.30. And your evening meal starts at 6.30 until 9. Again, um, there's the buffet option, which is in the main menu, and there are four additional a la carte menus that when you're staying for longer than seven days, can be booked one visit to an a la carte of your choice per seven day you are staying for. Um, the game is bar areas within this buffet area. This serves a range of spirits, lagers, cold drinks, water, fresh juices, which are all included. And then, again, you've got your fantastic area to make your own teas. Should you need any help, the staff are always on hand. Water stocked up to the hill, so you grab what you want when you want it. Parasols are out throughout the day. There's loads and loads of additional seat and there's never any reason why you can't get a seat because of such the longevity of when you're able to come and eat between. Um, the only thing we would be making you aware of is it, that it can get particularly busy around 7, 7.30 p.m. Especially to the evening mean when the hotel is at high peak season. Um, we've never experienced any difficulties but it's something that just to bear in mind if you are coming and you want to get a seat all together. This area here is the main large pool area. Now, as you can see, there is a huge range of sunbeds. There are plenty of sunbeds for families, but again, because it's in a wooded area, it can become quite shaded later on the afternoon, which might be a pleasant change from the direct sun, but it can be something to bear in mind. There are so many beds available now, and it's after 7 a.m. So there isn't a need to be awake at five o'clock in the morning to reserve one. Um, and the policy is that you wouldn't reserve, you'd just come down and enjoy it, but it's completely your choice. So as we go down to what is known as a uh, minus two, we are coming in to the stone bar area. This is one of the largest areas in the hotel and opens at 10 a.m. right the way through till midnight. So the staff team aren't on site at the moment because it's far too early and some of them won't have got one. But there is a wide range of drink choices including cocktails, um, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So the kids cocktail menu. Um, really nice choices there. Makes them feel like they're on holiday having a, a cocktail. And then we have the adult's choice, which again has got an extensive list of cocktail choices. We have a undercover pool table area. This area isn't manned or staffed in terms of um, who's on at what time. So it is just a case of maybe waiting your turn. But it's a great little hiding area for those of you who feel like you need to change. Our friends are getting a bit competitive. The soft seating area here on the balcony can become quite popular. Um, we really enjoy this space, not only because it's uh, handy for us all to sit together, but it is a little bit more comfy. 
than the um, seats further down. And then underneath the um, main restaurant area, we've got this undercover area with large flat seating that hosts two table tennis tables. Some really large seating, so if you do want to spread out and just have a little bit of a relax, you can. And then we're going to go down and show you the full area. So this main pool area is really popular with families. I think it's purely because of the gradient pool. Um, you know, for those of you who aren't comfortable or confident in open water, like the seahorses, there is this really nice opportunity to get in with your little ones and, and feel safe. It is lifeguard manned between the hours of 9 and 6 p.m. But this is a lovely, lovely rubber space. As you can see, it's already filling up. The pool is robotically cleaned every evening. It's a nice little feature if you want to watch that on a night. Um, again, as I mentioned, shaded area, quite wooded, so you will be able to um, hide away from the sun for those of you who aren't sun worshippers. There are small changing hut facilities um, on each of the pools alongside with the um, Postal ones where you can go and get changed, um, and there are showers located at every pool as well to rinse off after you have swam. As I mentioned, lifeguard mans between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. And the information board here just gives you some sort of context to what the hotel is planning on doing. Um, also on site, we do have um, mini golf. Um, and this is something that um, our children have enjoyed. It is a free uh, little add-on, but again, it's a nice opportunity for them to have some downtime. Um, you have to get the clubs from the information desk and radio kiosk alongside if you want to book out the tennis courts. But as you can see, the grounds are stunning. You know, it's simple, keeps everybody entertained. Um, we've also got a smaller pool here right well hidden up in the up in the trees with some beds a lovely lovely space this one is 70 centimeters deep so it's not that deep it's ideal for younger toddlers starts at 60 and moves it to 70 at the highest point so it's ideal for those non-confident swimmers or those who just want to take a dip to cool down really there's some nice little quirky features there's like a small castle small moat in the middle of the grounds and these uh, the rooms are usually family rooms over the side have family rooms consists of a double bed and a separate bedroom with usually two twin beds. Um, again, they can be requested on booking if you've got a specific. If anyone's got any preference, you can pick where you want to be if you've been before. And then this area here is the water slide. Again, opens at 9 a.m. Manned by a lifeguard. And allows those of you thrill seekers to have a bit of a run in the pool. Tucked away around the back here, we've got a small club and play area which is a sand-based play area for those younger in your party, including some swings and uh, sea heart, uh, seesaws, etc. slides. It is locked at the moment, probably opens around 9am, I do believe, alongside the pool so that it can be monitored. The slide um, feeds into a pool section here, but there is another pool here, um, which is very, very shallow. Um, 
it's where the kids club's also hosted which is available from a workshop the ages but i do believe it's three to twelve and there's also a smaller pill Kids clubs open from 10 till 12.30, tells you what sort of activities are going on there and then from 2.30 till 5.30. So just in front of the main slide and the children's play area, we're going to come into the second pool for families. Um, it's the waterfall pool, it's called or referred to. Um, it leads down from the smaller pool that we've just seen. For those of you using wheelchairs or buggies, it is quite flat terrain. However, you will need to be aware that there are a lot of steps and a lot of high inclines in this area. This is where your slide will come out to. Get your base pool pool here. And then we lead on to the water. Okay. Again, it has its own bar, so you don't need to travel too far to get your additional drinks. Bars are very, very well stocked for local and branded spirits. You can now see why it's actually named Waterfall Pool because it has a small waterfall at the back of the pool area. This one goes down to 150 deep so it is quite deep, probably more ideal for those who are a little bit more comfortable swimming. But lots and lots of landing. You don't necessarily need to be down here at the clock of dawn. Again, outdoor shower facilities are available in each of the areas to ensure you stay clean and fresh alongside with your changing facilities. <laughs> and then we're going to go to what is the amphitheatre. Now this is the place where you will find um, a lot of the evening entertainment. So it's where the showcases will be held. So tonight's um, experience, for example, will be in the show arena. And it's also where the evening kids mini disco is held. So again, a lovely space, plenty of seating. As I mentioned, if you need um, accessibility, you may need to enter from a different area, you're down on the ground floor. I'm going to go down onto the next level. Again, as I mentioned, quite a few steps. There are ramps to get down to most of the areas. You have um, an external toilet area and changing station on this level. Alongside information on the entertainment of what's happening for that day of the week. And then if we go down a further level, 
we go into what is known as the pine bar, I do believe. So this bar area is the area where it hosts karaoke, discos, DJs, it's a little bit more lively. Um, lots going on in here, as you notice it's not as much seat, it's more standing. So it's more about getting, uh, getting those dance moves on, busting out a little bit of Johnny and Sandy. And then um, sing to Harp to the Cards and Harp's Content again, being in this bar area. seating down here than what is in some of the main bars but as I say the intention is more so that you've got to dance in maybe singing if you're dancing on yourself on uh, the karaoke some choice, choices of songs the other way then we've heard a bit of last Christmas there are some green grass spaces which you'll notice um, a lot around the area um, and there's also these lovely quaint little triangular houses and they're actually cat houses so you'll notice a lot of cats on site. Um, so to keep them in the shade and keep them cool, they've created these little cat houses, which are quite a nice little feature. So as you see, you can access the amphitheatre um, via a flatter route, so you can ensure that you can see for accessibility. You can't smoke or vape in that area, and you can't take it out of the beverages. You must leave them at the top. So for a short period of time, you need to take that cocktail out of your hand. This area of being contains a space for um, entertainment, especially during the peak season. That will have um, DJs, dance acts, musicians, bands, um, and it's also the location of um, another bar. But also, one of the a la carte restaurants is located here on an evening. So, from 6 30 pm, you can eat in this area, ground floor, all up on the mezzanine suite. Uh, for the Turkish restaurant and again as I mentioned earlier you do need to book that in advance when you arrive at the guest information services table between the hours of 10 and 2. This area here is where you can also order um, from the snack bar so there is seating available, but between the hours of 12 and 4, this area here hosts a range of light snacks to take you throughout the day, including Donna Kebab, Margarita Pizza, Mixed Salad, um, Chicken Schnitzel, uh, Mixed Pizza, I'm trying to think, Palace Burger. Again, what you would do is you can either take a seat and a waitress will take your order, or you can stand here and the staff will come out and ask you. And those are to either eat here or take away, so you could eat them elsewhere in the hotel grounds. So, up this lovely steeple, which you get here and feel on your thighs after day four, um, you will come into the area that the coffee shop, so the Palace Coffee Corner. Now this opens at 11 on the morning and you can get a range of the coffees and this is the bubble tea and iced coffee bar which opens at around 10am for all of those milkshake, bubble tea and iced tea delights. As I mentioned the coffee bars here look beautiful. Handmade coffees, cafetiers, mockers, uh, espresso, should you feel the need for that type of hit, it's all made by hand on the staff here. And then this area here is the area area, so this is where you can get a range of freshly baked pastries from 11 until 4, and that is stocked on a regular basis. Again, plenty of seating so you can choose to sit down and enjoy that, I'll take it with you. And then the ice cream bar, so the ice cream bar is open from 11am right the way through until 6 with a range of fantastic ice creams including strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, caramel. It does depend on the day, sometimes that isn't everything available, um, but most days there is a huge range. And then if we take you to this section here, we take you to 
the seat now is at above what is the uh, pine bar and this is what converts into the a la carte Turkish restaurant of an evening. I'm sure you'll agree some absolutely stunning views. We are going to take you down along onto the jetty later. And for now, this is the view you met with first thing on the morning when you come up into this area. And you can just bring your coffee and your tea and enjoy it down here. As I mentioned, you can go down these stairs here. And it takes you back to the slip bar area. So we're taking you down now to the jetty, which is probably our favourite place to sunbathe in the whole hotel. Not only because it's got fantastic views, but it tends to have a constant steady stream of sun throughout the day, regardless of the time. There's also an amazing barman that works down here, on this bar here, who provides you with slushies, water, beer, um, soft beverages, anything containing spirits or cocktails you would have to go up and get from the main bar. But this is the main jetty, so this area here, is where you can go directly into the sea. As you can see, it's already a little busy and it's not even half seven in the morning yet. People are keen to get out and get that morning dip, freshen themselves up for the day ahead. The jetty is also a place that the um, Hotel operate boat tours from, which we'll show you later. But again, gives you a fantastic view of the whole local area. And the size of the complex, really. All of this is accessible to guests. Very rarely are the general public on here, or it seems to be guests only. What you can see ahead of you is the main town of Marmaris. So although the Grand Jetty Keep falls under Marmaris as bracket, it is classed as Ishmela. Um, it's slightly away from the hustle and bustle of the Marmaris nightlife, but within walking distance, around 7k walk from the hotel down into Marmaris city centre. Um, and Ishmela is walkable again around a 5k walk in the opposite direction takes you to some quiet areas in the town. So as you can see the edge of the complex starts around here and it bends around the edge of the bay. All of the ocean that you can access is available for you to swim in and it's quite well manned in terms of safety. There are two lifeguards on duty who obviously ensure the safety of the general users and also the um, passing public. As I mentioned there are boats that can come in and dock here should you have a private boat or go on an excursion. Again, the security and um, lifeguarding staff do not start until 9am, so obviously swimming before that, you do so at your own risk.
As I mentioned earlier, each of the um, swimming spots have their own shower facilities and um, changing areas. So alongside your bar you've got a changing facility and you've got showers that you can use to wash your feet, wash your body. Um, <laughs> one of the local cats. Just five acre pie. I'm going to take it inside, show you some of the seating areas inside. So, this area here is where you can meet the really friendly uh, member of staff who offers you your boat trips from the um, hotel itself. Presently priced at £15 per person. Um, a great little outing, leaving it around 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, Every day there's boat trips available and this is also the area where you collect your towels. So on arrival you are given a towel card per person. It opens at 9am and closes at 6 and you can take a towel one at a time each day and then return it at the end of the day and get it refreshed with a nice clean one for the next day. This area that we're going into now is some of the shops that are available on site. Um, obviously there are other shops quite locally based, but these are the ones that are here if you do not want to go off site for any reason. There's an on shop jeweller with a roast and a range of charms, necklaces, earrings. You've got a leather shop, um, host and furs, leathers, bags, shoes. Again, very good quality items. You have a nice indoor shaded space. Much quieter for those people who maybe want to work while they're on holiday, maybe need access to the internet and want to be away from the prioritising public. And this is your own shop market. Stocking everything from your mentos to your master potatoes that may look something like something else we all know. Um, with a range of toys. Again, it's open from 9 till 12. 1 till 5.30 and then 6.30 till 11, a range of inflatables that you can get on site. Then we have a boutique which offers some fantastic items um, from menswear to womenswear, including bags, perfumes, caps, hats, etc. Um, and then we have a little gift shop which has got your knickknacks, your magnets, your keyrings, your bracelets. Whatever it is you feel you need to pick up for those loved ones at home. Also on this level is an on-site infirmary, doctor stroke nurse. Now the nurse is available um, without charge. However, there are charges that apply should you need um, doctor's assistance. But the nurse itself, the consultation the nurse is free. You can just go to reception and ask for that. Um, a little cinema area, sometimes it's got a local film showing, uh, not always in English, but again, the subtitles are in there. And then this is a setup that's for the on site photographer who does like mini photo shoots. Um, you can book your children in at a great price, and they can go and have their own little mini shoot. The bar lifts available to all the floors in the hotel. And again, the ground floor toilet area can appear down here. As mentioned, you can also have a child with that. You can arrange your little shoot list should you fancy a um, momentum of your stay in a more professional capacity. Dresses and barbers. So, should you fancy getting a turkey trim or a really sharp beard, you can get that here again. It's open at 9 o'clock and it closes at 7. Staff are very friendly and approachable. And then we have the Arcadia Life Spa. Now, this opens at 9 am and closes at 8. You can use the spa facilities and the gym free of charge, but treatments are chargeable. And again, you can speak to the staff and we'll give you a leaflet of everything that's available in there.
and then we come back out to the base of the stone bar area. Hope you enjoyed that little tour and uh, you had the, the mouth for that one and the brains is on the camera. Yeah, just to say that obviously this is based on our opinions and our stay here, everybody's is individual and their own families might find different experiences but we can't fault the hotel enough uh, to the point where we've booked to come back again next year. Um, absolutely love it, love the staff team, love the service we receive when we're here, love the quality, again but it is down to personal opinion. So I hope you found it informative, helped you find your way around before you arrive on your trip and enjoy Happy holidays. See ya.